well, the two bloggers that are co-founders of Joe Life for the French community okay. magazine. So, yeah, we are here pretty much to cover the, the event and Joe has stuff. Okay. So, here it is, the Selfies OS running on the N950, which is the de Miko developer phone that we are using for the demos. So, here we start from the lock screen. Uh, we can see on the lock screen, we can see the time, uh, notification, missed calls, uh, there's the operator. Then on the top, we can see the date, and we have also this pull menu here that actually activates activates while you drag the display or the home home down, and it, uh, you activate the entry by releasing your touch from the screen. Af after the home UI, there's uh, the status area that has the battery status, uh, cellular service indicators, and so forth. And if you push further, you actually get to get to the whole home view, which which is also the multitasking view that we have. So okay. all the all the running applications are here, here, and also the quick quick launch icons for you, a couple of your own favorite applications, for example. Then, if we push even further, we have the uh, 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 launcher that has all your installed applications, and on, again on the bottom there's an in, uh, indicator that indicates the full menu there, and when we Select the home there. We can get back to the home screen. All right. And uh, so here we have uh, uh, the applications. Uh, we have also the active cover concept. So instead of just uh, tapping nor normally tapping the applications, you actually can uh, interact with the applications from the covers. So in these covers, you have here we have two functionalities. We have uh, this pause and next song at the moment. So we, if we just drag here. We pause the so song or continue the playback and uh, get the next song on the other, other side. Uh, so, also as I said, uh, the status uh, the status area is on on between the lock screen and the home screen. It's not always visible there, and that's that's because we want to save uh, most most of the screen for the user experience and the user application. So you can actually take the most benefit from the from the uh, device. Uh, or the display, uh, what you can. So, when when on any applications here, you can actually uh, uh, peek from the application. When when you are minimizing the application, you can actually first peek to the to the to the uh, home home view where you can see actually the clock and uh, the status area. So it actually moves the the uh, home view a bit down. Which hides the launcher yeah. icons and it shows the status area and the clock and uh, the indicators here. And then we, if we push all the way through, we actually get back to the home view and we have also, also the launcher items here. All right. Also, some new things that we have. So there's this events view. So it has the notifications. It has partner partner space for partner uh, an operator information, for example, and then the feeds like from Facebook, Twitter, and whatever uh, social media media services you are using yourself. And uh, All right. yeah, so we have actually here I can show in the photo gallery application, for example, uh, if I go to the picture, I have here Facebook share, so I can share uh, images to Facebook, for example, here by clicking the. Okay. Image, then image, then then I can actually uh, t type in a description for the image, and then I can actually share the image image just by tracking tracking the image to the left, and it shares the image to the, to your own Facebook gallery. And uh, the status of the the uh, transfer actually can be can be seen from the settings. We have this transfer UI which shows uh, the the. Uh, status of the tr different transfers and right. because I don't have the Wi-Fi enabled <laughs> here uh, the transfers transfers have failed but uh, okay. you, you get the, the, the point of, of, of this here right uh, also in the settings uh, we have this uh, favorite setting view thing so we can you can actually uh, make your some of the settings that you are using as your own favorite settings that are displayed on the front page of the setting application mm -hmm. so you can actually remove uh, uh, different things from the from the settings application, and then if you go go to the uh, uh, option that you want or setting that you want to actually add to your favorites, you just long tap it, it, long tap it, then add to favorites, and then you actually get get it back to the setting right. application. So you can actually quickly access your like the favorite settings that you are using daily, for example, 
uh, from the f f uh, first page of the Civics application. Okay. So this is the current Sailfish OS status that we are, are uh, showing here at the MWC. Right. Can you show the ambience settings? Ah, okay. So, yes. So when, uh, when we go to the uh, gallery, uh, I'll pick here the, uh, some ambience images and we can actually uh, see when, when I'm uh, creating the ambience, it's actually changing the color scheme of the whole, whole UI. So currently we can see actually that the uh, menus here are blue, also the, the texts are bluish and so forth. Mm -hmm. And now when I'm cha changing the, or creating the ambience, it actually changes all the menus and everything to the to, to colors that are picked from the, from the image. So if we go to the home view, we can actually see that the whole, whole feel, look and feel of the home, home view just changed to this picture that, that was selected from the gallery. So you can basically just take a picture and select any picture from your gallery uh, or of your friends, family or anything you want and uh, create an ambience based on, based on that image. All right. Thanks for the demo. <laughs> Thank you.